Hello guys, Ramadan Kareem. This is not how I expected to start my Ramadan vlogs, but I didn't realize that after this treatment, I won't be able to vlog because my face will be swollen and I can't put on makeup, which means I also can't make it to my iftar party tonight. I'm so bummed out. I didn't realize that like this treatment is going to put me down for a couple days. So I wanted to vlog when I got home and share with you guys like kind of my routine of what I'm going to do starting in the first day and month of Ramadan, but that's not going to happen. So if you guys are curious, I'm here at SkinCeuticals. I'm getting a microneedling treatment done. I actually came in for a halo treatment and the esthetician suggested that I do microneedling instead. She said my skin is not as bad as I think it is and that halo is a little bit too aggressive for me, especially right now. So I have a numbing cream on. That's why I look Crazy. Also, I'm really sorry if this is shaky. I'm using my cell phone to record because clearly I didn't plan this well and I don't have my volume camera with me. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a little recap because I have 25 minutes to sit here in this numbing cream. This morning, I woke up for a sofer. You guys, it was so hard to wake up. Oh my god. I, I went to bed at like 12.30 and I woke up at 5 a.m. I wanted to go to Starbucks and get coffee, but I didn't have enough time because I just like didn't prepare it well enough. So yeah, I scarfed down some roti and kima. If you know, you know, it's so good. I eat that. Had a date, water, and that was pretty much it. Um, it's now at like 2 p.m. This is like technically my lunch break. I'm working today from home, thank God. If I wasn't working from home today, I don't know how I would get anything done because I was so sleepy after some war. I went back to bed and I woke up at like nine. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get this treatment done. And then I'm gonna go home because I can't go to my star party, which is kind of good. I'm gonna just stay home and read some Quran. So every year I try to finish the Quran. I do one just a day, like one chapter a day. And I'm excited to do that again this year. So I usually read after Fajr, but because I went to bed, I have to do it today. So I'm gonna do it when I get home. And then I'm also listening to Omar Suleiman's like um, Jannah series. Oh, oh my God. I think episode two is out. I only listened to episode one. My lip is going numb. Uh, but it is so good. Please, you guys, join me. Listen to it with me. Like anytime I see a friend or family, I'm like, you guys have to listen to this. Tell me what you think. I want like full feedback. And it's just so exciting to do it with other people. So I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to join me. Um, also, I hope you guys can hear me because I just ranted for three minutes um, but I'm trying to whisper because I am at a clinic and there's some music going on. And yeah, and then later tonight, I'm going to go to Tarawi. I'm going to look crazy. She said I'm going to look really bruised and swollen and sunburned. So I'm still going to go because I want to go. I just can't wear makeup for 48 hours, which is why I'm going to skip my iftar. She said my face is also going to be really red and inflamed. So um, I'm going to need like a fan. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm doing the skin treatment, I have like a lot of like um, pores around my nose and then like acne scarring on my cheek, like like ice pick scars. So that's what I'm trying to tackle. So I'll see you guys after the treatment. Okay, so it's been several hours since I last picked up my camera. The last time you guys see me I had numbing cream on, I totally forgot to vlog like the treatment and what I look like afterwards. I took a couple photos for like my Instagram story and a few like clips for my Instagram. So I'll insert them here. But oh my God, you guys, that was really painful. So the lady was telling me that they recommend having the numbing cream on for about 45 minutes, but I was late to my appointment. So I only got 20 minutes of the numbing cream. So it hurt a little bit more. And also I just wasn't expecting like all this redness and bruising. You can't really tell on camera. Like it's not picking it up because one, I'm using my phone still because both of my cameras are dead. I actually bought a new camera just in time for Ramadan so that the mic would be clear. But um, yeah, it's dead. And so yeah, I'm using my phone camera and I feel like it just doesn't pick it up. And then also like certain lighting doesn't pick it up. Like, okay, now you can tell like I am actually bruised. Like there's scratches and marks all on my face. It's not picking up how red my skin is, but it literally looks like a chemical peel. Like I got burned. Yeah, I just, I, I honestly can't believe that I'm vlogging um, looking like this. I look so bad. I'm literally embarrassed. But honestly, one of the things that I learned from Umrah or one of the things that I gained from Umrah was like being confident and just like 
living without makeup and living very minimal. I don't know how to describe it. This sounds silly, but it just felt like myself. Like I just felt like there was like this natural glow and nor that the city was giving off. And I just felt like I don't need makeup to feel pretty. So I'm trying to keep those vibes going, even though I don't feel that way right now. But anyways, I am like now um, about to get ready for Zarawi. Also, I look extra dead right now because I was literally crying my eyes out while I was listening to the um, Jenna series from Omar Suleiman. If you are not tuned in, please, I think I've already mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but please tune in. It is so good. Like if you're not going to do anything extra this month in Ramadan, at least listen to this playlist that he's putting together because it literally is inspiring me to do everything in my power to make it to Jannah. Um, and yeah, so I finished that and I read some Quran. If I'm being completely honest, I'm kind of struggling with it this year. Not that I don't want to read it, but it's just like going by really slowly. Like, I don't know if like my pace has slowed down or what, but um, I'm also not reading at the best time. I feel like after Fajr, there's like so much barakah in that time. And it's like best to read it then. I've been reading it at night. Well, like today was my first day, but I read it at night and I'm like, oh my God. This is going by so slowly, but inshallah, I can do it. And I encourage you guys to do it too. So anyways, I'm going to um, get up and go pray. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Or maybe I'll show you when I'm coming back because I'm actually running really late. So I'll see you guys after that a week. Just kidding. One last thing. I'm going to put on my skincare before I head out because my skin is so dry. So they sent me home with a couple of products. I got this discoloration serum. It's supposed to help with all the dark spots on my skin. And I'm so excited about this. And then I purchased this one. This is their hyaluronic acid. And apparently this is going to be really good to layer with serums. So I'm going to do that first. And then a little bit of this. And then lastly, I got a sample of their emulsifier lotion. And this is so good. It's really, really thick. If you have dry skin or compromised skin, this is really good. And it really like hydrates your skin. So I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to go to Tarawi. Also, I forgot to mention because I vlogged this for my TikTok. But I forgot to put it here in this vlog. My vlog is a little empty today because my family actually went out to an iftar party. My sister kindly invited my family and I to her husband's restaurant for iftar. And I was literally looking forward to this iftar all day. Their buffet at the restaurant is so good. And I had looked at the menu and I was like literally just like waiting for that moment. And then I went to my appointment and realized, wait a second, I literally cannot go anywhere. The esthetician literally told me that she tells all her patients the first 48 hours is no social hours because you're going to be so red and bruised or like so red and inflamed. And I'm like, oh God, this sucks because I don't like the last thing I want to do is open your star alone. But yeah, that's why my vlog is so empty. My family is out having like the best time ever. And I ended up just doing DoorDash. I ordered from a local restaurant and honestly... The restaurant that I ordered from is called Garaki. It is for desperate times only. It's a hit or miss. Like I like it, but I don't really like it. I, I like it because it's like nearby and it's like chicken or rice, but like I don't love it. But yeah, that's my little rant. But I just wanted to say that's why my vlog is just like literally me doing everything by myself. I'm on my way to Darawi. I just called my mom and I was like, where are you guys? Are y'all coming home so we can go together? And she was like, oh no, we're planning on going somewhere close by after the dinner after their thought party so I'm like oh well this is great so now I'm headed to the we alone as well so it just kind of feels like I'm spending my first Ramadan alone and like my heart goes out to everyone who spends it alone and doesn't have family because it really does feel really lonely without like having others to do this with but nonetheless obviously I'm not sad I just I feel like I, I just feel like it would have been nice if my sister or my mom was here but yeah, I'm pulling up to the mosque. Luckily, I live like literally five minutes, not even like four minutes from the masjid. So I'm about to pull in. I'm honestly so tired. So I'm probably gonna just like read a rakat. I'll see. Just got home from Tzarawi and I'm still using my phone. I actually vlogged the entire day using my phone because my camera is actually dead and I went and got a new like vlogging camera and then my old um, vlogging camera the mic is messed up, so we're just gonna have to deal with this until tomorrow. But I wanted to share what I wore to um, prayers. I got this abaya when I was in Medina, and I thought it was so cute. I love the color and like the little design on it. So this is what I looked like 
to Tarawi. I'm actually so exhausted. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep right now and I'm so excited to wash my face. I have not washed my face all day. I don't have any makeup on. It's still like pretty much like all red and whatever. But tomorrow will hopefully be a better day. I'll share my suhoor tomorrow with you guys and a little bit more of like a Ramadan vlog. I'll show you guys what I'm doing to stay productive. I'm gonna change and get in bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Why am I holding my phone? It's so weird. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.